और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे बगैरती की इंतहा होगी लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन टुडे वी गॉट ब्रांड न्यू लीक्स फॉर जी टी एस सिक्स अपरली वर हेयरिंग न्यूज अबाउट द पी एस फाइव प्रो वर हेयरिंग एंड दिस सिक्स आर सिंग दैट पी एस फाइव and xbox series x are now old consoles Bruh. that gta 6 is gonna be running at them at like 30 fps like come on my guy these consoles just came out though when i say just i mean yeah almost gonna be four years but nonetheless we got new leaks new gameplay stuff as well trailer 2 information for gta 6 we also got gta 6 online information and there's a ton going around like this video subscribe if you're brand new and let me actually show you this video here roll it early last week we talked about how sony basically revealed that the playstation 5 Pro was going to be coming out later this year in 2024. Yeah, to be honest, they never really confirmed, but it's leaked at this point, and I believe Sony did kind of low key mentioned uh, in their earnings report, I believe, that they were but doing so because yet. they wanted to prepare for Grand Theft Auto 6. And Sony wanted the yeah. PlayStation 5 Pro to be the premier console to play that game on because they know there is a large market that is. How many of you actually got PS5 right now or Series X? Uh, if you have PS5, let me know in the comments or Series X. Do you have Series X? Going to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 Pro, but also there's a good chunk of the video game market that currently doesn't have a console or not even a current generation console that will choose oh, the best system to play GTA 6 on. Well, we got yeah. some more information that really goes to show you Rockstar's probably been preparing for this for a long time as well. This is coming I mean, from when you say a long time, well, how long do you mean? Do you mean like five years? <laughs> do you mean five decades? How many years we're talking here? Because it's been a minute though. Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, who said this. Large publishers had the Neo slash PS4 Pro development kit a year and a half before the retail release. Oh, Given Rockstar's strong relationship with Sony, they should have received them by the first half of last, half year, last year or at the end of it, along with first party uh -huh. studios. More so since at that point, a fall 24 release window was initially considered, but was certainly to be pushed back. Yeah. So you would expect Rockstar Man, to- Man, it would have been insane if you were to get like GTA 6 by the end of this year. Man, that would have been like a dream come true. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you actually agree. But now we're hearing that fall 2020 for, that's when PS5 Pro will come out, right? I feel like that Sony really wanted PS5 Pro and GTA 6 to come out like day one, but I guess like they couldn't make it make make it happen in time with uh, with GTA 6. So maybe PS5 Pro is gonna come out this year then, and GTA 6 next, like we're hearing. Request the dev. But what kit if they what if they delay PS5 Pro as well? By then. So long story short, Rockstar surely has a PlayStation 5 Pro, or at least multiple of them, and I would guarantee you that they are going to be designing Grand Theft Auto 6 to be optimized on the Pro version of the PlayStation 5. Because although uh, if they got multiple of them, can a brother just get like one PS5 Bruh. Pro? Uh, you know. Rockstar saying? has only confirmed that it's coming out on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. We kind of know that by the time GTA 6 gets here, those consoles will be sort of close to the end of their life cycle. Yeah. And so Rockstar doesn't want to develop for something that's <laughs> going to be completely... Yeah, this game is going to get remastered. I swear to God, man. It's going to be remastered for PS5 Pro, for PC. I mean, technically, it kind of makes sense for PC, right? Because... Uh, and that is if. That's a big mind. We might not. We might not. We might... Normally and usually, they would put out GK their GTA games like a year or two years after on PC, after they launch on consoles, right? But... How, how many times do you guys think that these suckers are gonna remaster? I think easily this game is gonna get remastered till PlayStation 7 or maybe even till 8 though. Let's obsolete. So knowing them, you would have to say, okay, we're going to focus a lot of our efforts on the PlayStation 5 Pro and then whatever Microsoft is going to come up with as well. I don't know if it's going to be called the Series S Pro, Series yeah. X Pro, whatever <laughs> it's going to be. But now we're hearing that now they're not going to have any mid-gen consoles, but they're and we're hearing that their next-gen console is going to be like in 2026, actually. And PlayStation 6, we're hearing that it's going to be in 2027, 2028, right? That's what we're hearing. But so far, we're hearing there's not going to be any mid-gen. But then it's like... They said that they're going to be revealing new hardware by the end of this year. Is that going to be their next-gen console for 2026? Or are they really going to do the Pro version? Yeah, we actually heard that uh, a while ago. And I have been streaming a lot over on Twitch. Uh, and we actually streamed the entire event for that where they talk about it. If you guys got Twitch, I would love to have you there. Definitely follow follow there. I also have a UFO channel. This is where we cover UFO content, alien content all day, every day. So I would, I would love to have you there as well. But let's see.
know for a fact that there's going to be a pro version of that console that's going to allow Rockstar to do some really, really cool things. So this should get you excited that they're developing for those new systems. And yeah, speaking I'm whoa, excited whoa, right shaking. now. Speaking of the cool things that Rockstar are going to be able to do that we really haven't seen necessarily or haven't seen as much until maybe Red Dead Redemption 2, these are the things that Rockstar are going to be able to do, just the little things. Tez Funds 2 responded to someone that said, for me, a new open world dynamic, one that evolves with you, around you, and because of you. See my earlier post about destructible environment. Again, if anyone got something better and more logical for Rockstar to justify their claims, please do challenge me and mention it. And he said, the level of destruction that would make sense is blasting off doors and safes. We wouldn't have to find out the safe code or hack a security panel to access a door. We should, we should just be, be able, able to, to blast them off. Dang. And those are the kind no. of- Okay, if that happens, that would be really, really sick though. Like, I would love a little bit of destruction in GK6, okay? That's WWW. And options that I really, really like. Being able to choose which yeah. way you're going to go about yeah. doing it. Sort of a smart and quiet way, like finding out the safe or hacking a code. Or sort of the loud and yeah. dumb way, like saying, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to blow the doors off this safe or plant some TNT on it. I like that Rockstar started to do that with Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd certainly like to see them do more of that with Grand Theft Auto 6 in terms yeah. of being able to yeah. decide, hey, this is how I want to go about. But yeah, that's cool and all, but can like destruction is cool and all, but can a brother perhaps get like GK6 trailer too? Bruh. Yo, when is that gonna happen realistically? When do you guys think that realistically? Like, uh, I know some of you guys are saying May as well, and, and rightfully, right? Because in May, we're gonna be having their investor call happen as well, which I'll surely live stream on the channel. So if you're new, definitely subscribe. We do it every single quarter, okay? Every time there's a stream, we stream it on the channel. And uh, in their last call, they did say that, yep, they're going to announce more in their next call. So um, I, I guess best case scenario, we're going to actually get the release date for GTA 6 by May or another time frame confirmation, maybe give or take. Either they're going to say like early 2025, mid or like fall 2025. Hopefully it's like mid or early, right? But realistically, it's looking like it's going to be like by the end of 2020, 2025. Right? So I think they can either give us like a solid date and a number or they're going to give us like a time frame like a holiday or not and if we're lucky we're gonna get gta 6 trailer 2 but if we get gta 6 trailer 2 or if we don't get it let's just say when are we gonna get it by the end of this year okay yeah let's just say by the end of this year we get another trailer when are we gonna get gta 6 online trailer then right and that is if the game is supposed to come out early 2025 a lot of people believe by march of 2025 but if we do not get a trailer for gta 6 this summer i would say like may or maybe even until july if we don't get it don't expect like gta 6 coming out in march guys because these seconds that need to uh, reveal gta 6 online as well you gotta think about it and they're gonna drop like multiple trailers they also gotta drop like a release trailer they gotta drop screenshots they gotta announce a release date gta 6 online gameplay demo video as well another trailer for the story they might even do like a they never really do like single player gameplay demos though that's true so I don't expect them, but what if they do this time? But for online, they do, right? I remember they dropped like a five minute video for GTA Online. They, uh, yeah. They might not even drop a trailer for GTA 6 Online. They might just drop a gameplay demo Bruh. for GTA 6. Uh, I, I mean, that would be better than their trailer, that's for sure, but either solving this mission or completing this objective. And it'll be interesting if these new consoles allow Rockstar to add some things into the game, like a director mode, since Red Dead Redemption 2 has no director mode. There was a lot of conversation around if there was going to be a Rockstar editor for Grand Theft Auto 6, and Insider Test Funds 2 said this, GTA 5's editor was technically a DLC for both PC and consoles. It was going to be the same Brand. for RDR 2, Brand. since we saw new references appearing within post-launch updates, but support was dropped before that happened. The difference this time is that obviously GTA 6 won't be dropped and will last as long as Grand Theft Auto 5 or even more. Oh, so it's pretty much oh, guaranteed. Oh, bruh. Man, come on, dog. Like, really? We must stay focused. Uh, come on, man. Go. I accidentally pressed the wrong one. This is the one that I was looking for. Man, this game, I think it's kind of Joel or... I think this is going to be once in a generational kind of thing where we get GTA 6, right? Because once we have this game, it's kind of over, right? I don't think we're going to see GTA 7 ever in our lifetime, though. Easily, I can see GTA 6 come out, like, after 2035, guys. Bruh. So that's, like, 10 years in the future. And these guys have a track record of putting new games, new GTA games, like... <laughs> it's going to be, like, what, 12 uh, years? Since we get another game, or more like 13 years, or yeah, 12 years, 12. Or if it comes out by the end of 2025, then it can be 13 years, right? My math ain't adding up right now. Okay, so 2013 by the end, 20. Okay, yeah, uh, if it comes out by the end of 2025, it would be 12 years uh, since we had GTA 5 or GTA 6 released after 12 years after GTA 5. 
So if if we actually go in this direction, then 2037. Yay. And you never know, man. These suckers might not even drop by 2037. These suckers might drop it like in 2040, though. <laughs> man, Guaranteed that we will receive the editor, bad, but bro. unlikely at launch, more likely with the PC version or a post launch update. Basically, the same scenario with the editor being technically a DLC. And I know yeah. a lot of people really, really like the Rockstar editor and director mode. It's something that I am absolutely terrible with, but the community has been able to create some awesome masterpieces like machinimas and just really, really cool edited videos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the races as well. I, I like the races a lot. Pictures. So yeah. I do hope Rockstar considers adding that because it does allow the community to just create some really amazing Agree? stuff. But let Agree? me know what you think Agree? in those comments down below. Do you hope Rockstar introduces a Rockstar editor or even like a director? Mode. I, I hope they do it right in the beginning for GTA 6 online. Yeah, I would love that. I would and love Grand that. Grand Theft Auto 6. Let me know what you're thinking yeah, down w, there. W, now, w, I'm w. also hoping on these new consoles, that gives Rockstar the ability to give us DLC, something we haven't seen since Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption. And again, there was more discussion about that as someone said, honestly, I never cared about the GTA 5 single player DLC that what? people to this day still moan about. I believe once a story is finished, they should let it and the characters be. Too much potential to ruin this character's arc. I'm all for DLCs like episodes from Liberty City, Vice City Stories, or Liberty City Stories, as it gives a new story and a new protagonist. I really hope we'll get that in Grand Theft Auto 6. With TezFunds2 saying, the thing about Grand Theft Auto 5's single player DLC is that it was going to be based on exaggerated scenarios for the episodes. It really wasn't going to continue the storyline with a realistic sequel, oh, except damn. for the relationship pack that would have focused on Franklin and Tanisha. One but nah, bro, like, I still wanted to see, like, Franklin and Tanisha storyline though, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, be honest though. Did you did you wanted to see Franklin and Tanisha storyline? <laughs> be honest, man. Be honest. I, I personally did not I did not wanted that to be honest, but like, okay. Uh but nah, bro, I, I think now nah, I'm a sucker for single player DLCs. I would love it. But I think realistically we're not gonna get it though. <laughs> Yeah, realistically, these things are... I mean, GTA 5 Online, that's proof, right? Instead of... Uh, and they wanted to put out for GTA 5. We have leaks documents, though. We got source code leaking out not not long ago for GTA 5. And these things wanted that. But it's like... But but they saw the money coming in like a tsunami with GTA Online. So they actually diverted all of their attention on GTA Online. So I think the same is probably going to happen. And we also did hear that GTA 6 Online is going to see like more expansions, like more cities added. And I hope we get more cities and more more locations added i think that would be amazing for gta 6 online but when they do i hope they add that for normal single player as well where we have like n another city to go in even in the single player i think that would be awesome so i hope they do not neglect single player like that but episode is based Thoughts? on rockstar's cut agent game with trevor working as an agent for iaa going from being a psychopath to james bond 007 agent and the other is based on red dead redemption's undead nightmare where the city experiences a zombie apocalypse and time is slowed down to lengthen the days emphasizing the number of days you could survive making it home to sleep aliens was the backup plan for the zombies episode rockstar may however take a more serious approach towards episodic content for gta 6 if they were to plan for some instead of the quote what if scenarios type of episodic content but i wouldn't mind having mm -hmm. one along with a more serious tone and story focused episode and honestly okay. i would just hope for any single player dlc i don't know how many yeah. of you guys have gone back and played red dead redemption's undead nightmare or the ballad of gay tony or the lost in the dam those are some of the best expansions of all time not I just agree. for grand theft auto or red dead yeah and then i remember they came out with like the gta 4 complete edition as well those were solid days man i'm not sure if you guys have been around for that long or not but recently we had like a massive leak video for gta 6 gameplay as well click on this video on the screen on the left we got some a little bit of negative news about gta 6 so good news on the right bad news on the left which one you want to see i mean check out both but i mean I'll, I'll see you click one over the other and i'll see